Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Raging Wolf, and today this video, um, it's not gonna be that long because I've gotta be in bed because I have work in the morning. Might be about a 10 minute long video, but uh, anywho, let's get started. Uh, this video, it's getting close to Halloween, so I want to do something special, and today's video is gonna be about that. Um, and what caught my attention to make me want to do this is a guy named Day with James. Um, I'll post a link down to his YouTube, his videos down below in the description box. Um, you know, just to uh, so that way you guys can go see him. But in one of his videos, he was talking and uh, he heard knocks on his door. He walked out. His friend was actually in the room next to him, just chilling on the bed with the dogs, and the dogs weren't moving. So, you know, it wasn't them, and another one of their friends wasn't there. So. Uh, he walked across the hallway, and the door was open, he walked in the room, nothing, he didn't see anything, and as he was walking away, um, you could actually see the door close behind him, and, you know, the house, he, like he said, you know, there's no wind that really gets in the house, all the windows are closed, the fans were off, so, I mean, it's, it's paranormal, um, and he's been having, you know, random footsteps and stuff like that happen in his house, so, um, and he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, I love watching his videos, so check down below in the description box and go to his channel and subscribe. Um, but what I want to talk about in this video is not just his videos. I want to talk about mine. Uh, and you know, my paranormal story. You know, most people, you know, try to say, you know. Oh, I've seen this and that and this and that, but trust me, you haven't seen anything that I've seen. Um, I'm watching Family Guy right now, so. Um, anyway, it all started growing up. Uh, my brother and sister and I, we would go out to South Carolina to go to uh, hang out with our cousins who lived in Charleston. I think it was Charleston, in Kings Grand. Um, and this house that they lived in, okay, it was an old house, it was built around, it withstood Hurricane Andrews, so, I think that was in the 80s, I think, um, but they lived in it, and before they moved into it, there was an old woman that died in the house, and exactly this, what makes it creepy is, the old woman actually died where my aunt's room would be, um, so, my aunt and uncle slept in that room. Behind their bed was actually an office, and like, uh, probably about five, ten feet away from their bed, I would say, um, there was an attic door. Okay, and you know, kids, you know, we would go all around the house, you know, have fun. There's crawl spaces actually in that house, um, and you guys know if you watch horror movies, crawl spaces generally mean there's something in there. But uh, we would go hide in the crawl spaces, we would hide in the cupboard, upstairs, the wardrobe is what we you know, could call it. Um, but the bedroom my aunt and uncle slept in, like I said, it has the office behind them, it has an attic. And if you look out the window, right next to the master bathroom, um, you could actually climb out into the second story roof. So it was a pretty big house. Um, my cousin's room is actually across the hallway. Okay, so you had about a 15 foot long hallway, I'd say, and uh, you know we'd be sleeping the light on because I mean, the house was just creepy. Um, but what makes this house so creepy is the old woman dying. But my aunt and uncle told me and my brother and her sister and you know cousins all this that uh, the house was actually built around an old Civil War trail. So the Civil War bad time um, just remember that that plays later on in the video if you want to go ahead it's probably about six minutes into the video but uh, I'll leave an annotation and upload this but um, this house I mean you could hear footsteps you could hear somebody talking when you weren't talking and there's nobody around you And when everything was quiet, everything was settled down, you know, it really got creepy. 
I mean, we would always constantly be talking and constantly have constantly be moving around, you know, um, in order to not get quiet. But uh, at night, you know, it was a weird part. You could uh, actually feel as if a presence was right beside you. Yeah, I mean, it, it's creepy. Um, but back into the what I want to talk to you guys about. The reason why I said the Civil War would play a big effect in this story is that uh, my cousin and I, our younger cousin, um, we're actually home alone. You know, we're sitting there watching. No, we're actually upstairs in the master bedroom. Um, and we're we were in there playing Medieval on the PlayStation 1. And we heard something that sounded like it was in the attic. And we knew for sure that we never wanted to go inside the attic and there was nobody there. So we freaked out. I mean, we literally freaked out. So we got up, ran into the office. Okay, and in this office, you know, my uncle was a huge comic book fan. Okay, he's the reason why I love comic books. And same thing with my grandfather. Both love comic books, loves, both love superheroes. My uncle actually had all sets of the Pokeballs, the, like the golden Pokemon coins. I actually have two of the three of those, actually. Um, but they're not my uncle's. Um, but I went in there, so we started reading comic books. Okay. Um, and then we heard something again. Uh, and I don't, I don't usually talk about this story. Um, so, this is the first time I'm actually doing it on recording. Uh, but, uh, we heard something again outside the door. So we freaked out. I mean, we're sitting in there just, you know, scared out of our minds. And we hid behind some boxes. And we were still reading comic books. We had, like, this little blinky light. I mean, it was probably about, you know, probably about this big and probably about... I guess you could say that wide, but it would blink on and off. That's my ghost hunting light. I'll tell you guys that later. But um, we had, it was a blinky light, and it, or it could be a flashlight. Um, so we we were sitting there, you know, just reading the comic books, and we had this blink light next to us. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the lights flick off, and you could hear it like that, you know, the flick. And we freaked out. I mean, we're freaking, we're looking around. My cousin. My little cousin, he's like a year or two younger than me, he grabs the, uh, might be four, I don't know, but he grabs the light and he turns it on, and it's blinking, like, slow, as if it was a strobe light on the slowest setting, um, and, you know, we looked at each other, you know, we're freaking out, you know, we're, we're cause we're kids, we're freaking out, we don't, we don't wanna, you, you know, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going to happen. And we've been told, you know, you know, it could be a burglar or it could be, you know, something harmful. But, uh, one moment, my cousin and I we looked at each other and we looked. And the light was blinking. And we're sitting there thinking, well, if we can get to the light, we can turn it on and get out. And... That's when things get scary. Um, we heard footsteps. Okay. We literally immediately turned around. Standing in front of us. In the blinking light and all. You could see a full bodied apparition. Like you, you, as real as I am right now speaking to you. You know, you couldn't see through him. You couldn't, anything like that. It was as if he was a man. And, uh, um, was a Civil War soldier. 
and uh, he looked at us, and we were freaking out. Like we were, my cousin and I were freaking out. I mean, we're you know we're kids and we see a ghost, freaking out. And he just looks at us, and he looks. He turns back at us and looks at us again. He smiles. And poof. He was gone. And that was possibly the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, and I ghost hunt. <laughs> you know, I ghost hunt. So. Man, that scares me to this day, you know. I don't want to see another one like that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it scared us. I mean, we were freaking out, crying. I mean, it was, it was super, super, super scary. Anyway, this has been Raging Wolf. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like down below, comment, tell me what you guys think on the story. If you guys want me to do another one, just tell me, and I'll do another story. Um, I hope I hope that you guys actually share this video. I mean, this would be a cool video to get people to know and you know get to know me. You know what kind of it's like paranormal things that I've had in my life. I mean, I've had quite a few. Um, so if you guys want to see more videos like this, comment down below. I don't know what my next video is going to be. It might be a live stream tomorrow because I'm going to start trying to upload two or three videos a week. Um, so it my schedule is going to vary because I'm working 8 to 5 the rest of the week. And then once I start getting everything situated after training, I'm going to go to 2 to 11. So it's going to be complicated to upload videos. But just keep an eye out. Subscribe and hit that little... Um, bell button beside my name and turn on my notifications if you guys want to watch my videos um, like right up here I'm going to have a link to uh, Day with James so just keep an eye out for that uh, and yeah uh, that's scary 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 stuff um, I wish you know I could have recorded it as a kid but I don't want to see another one. So, yeah. This is Raging Wolf, signing out.